Hey everybody, how's it going? It's been a minute since I've made a video like this, so I decided that I would give you an update because this is always my highest requested video. People want to know what my most complimented fragrances are, so I'm going to share them with you, and I'm also going to tell you which ones got more compliments from women or for men, depending on who you're trying to attract. And as always, the discount link for all these fragrances are going to be in the description box below. And it's global shipping, so it doesn't matter where you live. You can get your hands on these bottles or samples of them. So all that in the description box, all right? So we're going to start with the only fragrance I don't have a bottle of, and it's Versace Bright Crystal. Now, this fragrance got compliments from men and women, but let me tell you, it has men in a chokehold or anybody really that has more of a masculine nose and the way i found out about versace bright crystal is i received a dm from this woman <clears throat> and she's a lesbian and she went on a date and she's been on several dates and her dates have always worn perfume but it wasn't until she went on a date with this girl that she was like i have to know what you're wearing because you smell super sexy and versace bright crystal is a fragrance that really has people going feral. It smells like pomegranates. There's also some magnolia. There's also some lotus. So it has these florals and it has that very interesting note of pomegranate. So it gives it that fruity vibe. And it's this nice, fresh fragrance. Now, from my experience, the first time I sprayed Versace Bright Crystal, I remember it was on my arm. And within the first 15 minutes, I got compliments from two people just passing by. They were like, damn, you smell so good. So it's definitely a fragrance that is super mass appealing. But I will say the downside that people who constantly wear it tell me is they feel like it doesn't last that long or it just kind of falls off their skin. And I will say that I gave the sample of it to my sister and she goes nose blind to it maybe after an hour or, or less, but I still smelled it on her about five, six hours later. So it can be something that you easily go nose blind to, but of course it also is a lighter fragrance. So if you wanna overspray it, don't be afraid. I will say, of course, if you're in an office setting or in an enclosed space and environment, then be careful with overspraying. But if you're gonna be outdoors all day, then hell yeah, you can easily overspray that fragrance. All right, next, Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. And this one had women going wild when I wore it. This scent right here does not play at all. Okay, I love the original Spice Bomb and I wish I had it in my collection, but I know there's a lot of people that I know that like to rock that one. So I am glad that I have the extreme. <clears throat> and this is a tobacco vanilla fragrance and it has, I believe, caraway in the opening. But but let me, let me tell you this, all right, because... <clears throat> I've had some followers that tell me that the spice off the top with Spice Bomb Extreme was just super off-putting to them on their skin. It smelled like BO and all that. So if you're sensitive to spice, then of course stay away from something called Spice Bomb Extreme, right? But I will say if you just let this fragrance settle on your skin and when that vanilla pops out with that tobacco, it's absolutely divine. Now this is actually a scent that I spray on clothes instead of on skin because it gives it that cozy feeling and I like wearing it when I've got a sweater on or a hoodie on. And this, whenever I hug somebody, always just has the nose to the neck type of reaction. So I have gotten compliments from men with this fragrance as well. And they're always shocked. They're like, what, Spice Mom Extreme? I wear that or my dad wears that and they don't smell like you, you know? So it's, it's nice. So skin chemistry, a big thing, but like I said, I sprayed it on my clothes, so. Maybe it's probably also a psychological thing that they see a woman and they're just not expecting a masculine fragrance. And maybe that has something to do with it as well. But I have never been stopped by a guy or told by a guy that I smelled like a man wearing this, you know? So it's that's the reason I say it can be unisex or women can pull it off because nobody, it's just always flown under the radar. But gorgeous fragrance that lasts over eight hours, no problem. An amazing designer scent. Next, oh man, this one takes me back, but Light Blue Intense by Dolce Gabbana. <clears throat> this is the feminine one, all right? And this still pulls its weight, okay? This one gets compliments from everybody, everybody. It does not matter at all because this is a very unisex fragrance. This is the one marketed to women, 
But let me tell you, if there's guys watching this video right now, don't buy the masculine one. Buy the feminine one because it smells fresh and clean and sexy. The masculine one just smells fresh and clean, shower gel like every Ralph Lauren sort of scent. You know what I mean? But this one has the sex appeal to it. And it's this apple lemon musk fragrance. Now, I remember the first time I got this bottle was actually around this time of the year or maybe December of last year or the year before. And <laughs> the scent... I would wear it in the winter time and I just couldn't get enough of it. I would wear it everywhere and the people that I was around loved it. Now I know that this scent is super popular, but the skin chemistry with this is important because I remember when I wore it, somebody was like, oh, you smell like fresh spicy. That's really good. And I've never, like when I smelled this on another person, I never smelled it as a spicy scent. You know, but on me, they were like, it smells really fresh and almost spicy. And that was on a hot day, maybe. Some of you might not be a hot day for 85 degrees, but it was relatively warm. And I wore this, so like I was sweating and we were at the beach, but got a lot of compliments on this that day. So another great designer scent. My favorite designer summertime fragrance. Absolutely. All right. Next is... A niche fragrance right here it's called Lamar by Kajal Perfumes and this is for people that love that gourmand scent. Now Lamar isn't something that I like to wear on a daily basis in fact or even that often this is something I'd much rather prefer on my girlfriend when she wears it but that doesn't mean it's not a unisex fragrance all right this when I did wear it I I got pretty much an even amount of compliments I got an even like I got a lot of compliments from guys I also got a lot of compliments from girls. Um, but yeah, I I really can't tell you that, oh yeah, this is way more of a woman's perfume than a man, like a man's perfume, just because there have been guys that I've sprayed this on just to kind of see how it smells on them. And they smell great. So if you're just somebody that wants to smell delicious, you want to smell pineapple delicious, let me rephrase that because that is something that a lot of people out there don't smell like. And let me just say, I'm specifying sweet pineapple because there's people out there that like to rock the fresh pineapple like Creed Aventus but sweet pineapple is a bit more rare to come by and this one is a lingerer this fragrance you can do one to two sprays and you leave the room and people that enter that room 10 to 15 minutes later are still going to smell your scent so it's something that if you want to leave a good impression and you want to be remembered this is a scent you throw on a great nighttime fragrance, cold weather fragrance as well. All right. And these are no particular order in case I didn't specify that in the beginning, but <coughs> excuse me. Le Nuit de Lhomme by YSL is a sexy, sexy fragrance. Okay. This one very appealing to the feminine nose. Let me tell you. I remember the first, oh damn. Shit, this is good. This was the fragrance that kick-started my fragrance journey. The first scent that I smelled and I was like, damn, that's what sexy smells like. I want to smell sexy, you know? So I wore this because I was in love with it. But let me tell you, whenever I was around women in particular, they just could not stop smelling me with this scent. They're like, damn, that's really sexy. That smells so good. I got a compliment that somebody was salivating once when I wore this. She's like, oh my God, you smell so good. I'm salivating right now. I wore this around my girlfriend and it was a slow grower for her at first she's like yeah that's nice but the more she smelled it she was like oh shit like it just it immediately kind of changed you know her attitude as like well not immediately but like as the night went on the more she smelled it she's like god damn that smells really really good you know so la nuit de l'homme is a cardamom fragrance and cardamom is one of the sexiest notes out there in my personal opinion but the downside to la nuit is that performance isn't the best, all right? This is something you're definitely gonna have to overspray. And I get a lot of DMs from people saying, should I go hunt down the vintage bottles and the vintage like batches? What's your batch code number? All that sort of shit. And let me just tell you right now, I got this in 2020, okay? Just buy a bottle and overspray it. I am. I think that going and hunting down, unless that's like your hobby and you really like that, I don't find it to be necessary. Because this is a fragrance that when you overspray it, it doesn't choke you out. I went to, I went out at night with 17 sprays of this fragrance on. It didn't choke me out, didn't choke anybody else out. 
But if you're somebody that's never tried this scent or you're new to perfume and you hear 17 sprays, you're like, no way, that's way too much, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, you'll see what I'm talking about. But very sexy to women, very sexy to the feminine nose. All right, next is Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules. And this one is a pretty even split. I will say maybe, I was going to say a little bit more women complimented me on this than men, but I'm just mainly saying that because this drives my girlfriend absolutely crazy. But I will say that in terms of just people, all right, yeah, it's pretty split. Men, women, just Molecule 01 is what I call a smart fragrance. And it's a hard fragrance to kind of talk about because it smells different on everybody since it's an ISO E super scent. So it enhances your skin chemistry. So even if you watch a video of me talking about how this smells clean on my skin or somebody thought I smelled like fresh laundry, you might not get that smell on you. Some people smell like trees. Some people smell like rust. And it just really depends on your personal skin chemistry and also your hygiene, okay? So Molecule 01 is also great because I like to layer it with my other fragrances. So with a weak performing scent like Lanui, I throw this on top of it and boom, Lanui lasts longer than like three hours. Like then how it would with three hours, it would last like seven hours with this one right here. But I'm talking about Molecule 01 in this video by itself because it draws a lot of curious type of reactions because it doesn't smell like you're wearing a fragrance. So people are kind of like on the fence about complimenting you because it's like, am I really going to compliment this person on like how their skin smells, you know, because it doesn't smell exactly like you hopped out of the shower, but it's just, it has a sort of magnetism that draws people in. But the people that are, that are close to me or the people that I know, they're like, damn, you smell good. What is that? Is it like your laundry detergent? And I'm like, no, it's actually a fragrance. So it definitely has gotten a lot of eyebrow raises, but in the best possible ways, you know? So Molecule 01, I love it, love it, love it. This bottle is slowly going down, slowly going down. All right, next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is Ombre Nuit by Christian Dior. And this, wow, I'm gonna say this definitely was, when I wore it, more appealing to the feminine nose. All right, this scent, I remember, the first time I got a sample of this fragrance, it's all I wore. It became my signature scent. And it was one of the samples that didn't have a sprayer, so you had to kind of put it on your wrist. And I hated that, but I would wear it all the time. And I kid you not, every single woman that smelled it on me, when they hugged me or if they were right next to me, complimented me on this scent. It was absolutely crazy. But I will say I also received compliments from men on this fragrance as well, but not to the extremes that women were going for. Like men would say, oh yeah, like you smell good, that's nice. But women were like, oh my God, that's so sexy, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I Ombre Nui is a sex beast for sure. It really, really is. Gosh, it smells like rose. There's also some amber in this fragrance and there's pink pepper in the opening, but I will say the, uh, the amber is the superstar here. The pink pepper, not really detectable. The rose, it wasn't noticeable to me at first until I saw that it was written on the notes. And then the more I smelled it, the more I was able to pick it up. But yeah, I love this. If you were around during my TikTok early days, then you heard me talk about this nonstop. All right, next we've got Oud Wood by Tom Ford. And this thing is a powerhouse and this is actually a split one. I got a lot of compliments from women on this fragrance, but also a lot of compliments from men that were really, really drawn in with this scent. Yeah, it's a unique one, all right? And I know if you're a fragrance connoisseur and you hear me say, oh, Oud Wood is unique, you might probably roll your eyes, but again, this video is about my most complimented. So people out there in public. And let me tell you, there's not a lot of people that rock woody fragrances. And on top of that, there's not a lot of people that rock woody fragrances that smell super sexy. But this one just ties it all together in one. Now, people always kind of come down on me in my YouTube comment section when I describe Oud Wood. 
as a more fresh scent than people give it credit for, but I mean it. Like I wore this in 80 degree weather and I got nonstop compliments. The way that this performed in the heat, very different than the way it performed when I wore it at nighttime or when it was cold. And I think that when people say that this is poor in performance, when I wore this in the daytime, it was projecting. So of course, when you read online that this is a nighttime fragrance and it's still a bit airy, the performance might not be the best. But I will say when I wore this when it was warm, performance was not an issue at all. I was getting over six hours of wear on this fragrance. And the way that I gauged that was I got a compliment six hours after I applied this, which means people could smell me, you know? So oud wood, really, really intoxicating. Damn, this is my favorite Tom Ford fragrance. I haven't smelled anything yet that has surpassed Oud Wood. Next is a classic pie by Givenchy. Now this is marketed as a masculine scent, but let me tell you, it's kind of in disguise. Similar to Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense where it's marketed for women, but honestly, a guy throws it on and it doesn't smell like a woman's perfume. It doesn't smell feminine at all. You know, very unisex one. Same with Pi by Givenchy. And this one took me a while to come around to. What I knew for sure is that I liked it, but I didn't love it. So I liked it and I wanted to keep testing it. And the thing is, every single time I wore this scent and I was around a woman, she loved it. Absolutely loved it. With guys, there were compliments, but this was definitely more attractive to the feminine nose. And this is actually something that I know a lot of women love to wear because they're like, damn, that thing is so sexy. Even I want to wear it. You know what I mean? So this was kind of almost a powdery vanilla scent on my skin. And the powderiness I'm talking about here isn't makeup powdery. Don't think about like your grandma's like, you know, powder and makeup, that sort of stuff. It kind of smelled like, what is it? Oh, gosh, how am I blanking on this right? Powdered sugar almost a little bit powdered sugar and vanilla on my skin okay i'm not saying it's going to smell like that on everybody but that is what i picked up on and i remember hearing that the performance on this was ass but no lie this shit would last over seven hours on me and i would mainly apply this on i did skin and clothes but lately i've just been applying this on clothes i've liked the the thicker longer lasting fragrances i like applying those on my clothes over skin but yeah, definitely a scent that if you want somebody to snuggle up to you, if you want a nose to the neck fragrance, you will not fail with Pi by Givenchy. And on top of that, it's relatively affordable in comparison to other designer fragrances that are priced over $100. I got this bottle for 40 bucks, but I believe like the link below is maybe like 60, something like that. So in comparison and for a full size, like a 100 ml, that's not bad at all. All right, next. Oh, this one i love it so much salt and pepper by precious liquid and when this came into the game for me it was an absolute game changer y'all heard me talk about this non-stop to a point where a good amount of you were so irritated with me talking about this they're like oh you're talking about that so much it must be a scam you must have blah 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 like you're talking about it way too much for you to actually like it but no all right the real ogs that have been subscribed to my channel know that when I love something, I run that shit down to the ground, like nonstop, because it's all I wear. And so if it's all I wear, the compliments that I'm receiving are because of it. You know what I mean? So salt and pepper was something that, no lie, the first like five to 10 minutes of me wearing it smelled more masculine, didn't really care about it. it smelled good, but I wasn't in love with it. But as it started to dry down, I remember I called my girlfriend too, because she's the one that smelled it. She's like, I have to smell this on you. Can you please try it? And she sent me the sample of it. So I'm wearing it for like 10 minutes. I remember I'm in Subway. Yeah, I'm getting a sandwich from Subway. I love Subway, all right? I don't know why people hate on it. But I was like, okay, yeah, it's so whatever, right? And then I call her on the phone and I'm like, yeah, like it's, it's nice, but it's a bit like masculine and all that, right? But... I kid you not, like 30 to 45 minutes later, I said, oh shit, this smells really good. And I called her again and I'm like, damn, I don't know what it is, but like it's slowly growing on me. And that, that slow growth became an absolute love. And she's like, I knew you would love it. 
And when she smelled this on me too, she went ape shit. She went super feral. She's like, damn, oh, I love this. And she like, this is a, like a scent that makes her jump. Like if you want somebody on you, you want to smell so sexy where they're going to get on you, like salt and pepper for sure. Now this very sexy to the feminine nose. It's not even a question. This is what you wear if you want to be sexy to the feminine nose, all right? This scent, even my subscribers and followers that like these women that have bought this for their partners, they're like, I remember this girl's like, that is my favorite scent on my boyfriend or I bought that for my partner. They smell super, super sexy. It's my favorite thing. Like it's just a nice niche fragrance that not a lot of people know about, all right? In general, people don't know about niche fragrances, but when you get into niche scents and there's a brand that like is niche within the niche, that makes it even more special. And the fact that this is something that has that wide mass appeal, to me, like th that's my sweet spot. I do like things that other people actually tend to really enjoy on me, which is why if you're watching this video, Again, these aren't like based on my personal favorites. They're based on like what has gotten me the most compliments. But you'll notice that these bottles are also similar to the videos that are in my most favorite fragrance videos, if that makes sense. I hope that made sense. It should have. But, but yeah, salt and pepper, really great. More of a peppery fragrance that has that ambroxan in the base. Love it, love it, love it. All right, next... Cidrop Lazé by Mancera. And this thing is a fragrance that once I wear it, I don't stop wearing it for two weeks straight. It's all I wear because it has a hold on me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's a very fruity fragrance off the opening. And no lie, it kind of reminds me of walking into Jamba Juice. And then it dries down into this woody fragrance. Now, this has gotten compliments from both men and women. But let me tell you the difference here, all right? So with women... This has been a very, very sexy fragrance. Like, I kid you not, my scent trail, projection, like hugging, like everything. This is not a scent that smells good in the air, but the closer you get to it, you get put off. It's something that draws you in. And when it does hook you in, it you fall even more into it. So Drop Jose does not play when it comes to the feminine nose at all. Now with the masculine nose, I remember this guy told me that it's like something smells like a like a masculine, uh, not like aftershave or a shaving cream, right? Like a, a shaving cream. And it was this scent. And he's like, but I really like it, you know? So I will tell you right now, like salt and pepper, if you want compliments from women, you get to drop Jose. This is marketed as a unisex fragrance, but this does skew more on the masculine side. But this thing lasts over 24 hours on me. And that is not an exaggeration, all right? I got, this is the screw top one. I know they reformulated it. So now I don't know how the performance is on the newer batches, but five sprays of this will literally last me all day. I don't even do five sprays. I do two at most now, just because I know how it performs. So to me, this is one of the less is more type of fragrances because a little bit goes a long way. All right, next is Intense Cafe by Montal. Now this one is an even split, okay? This fragrance, I will say, you know what? Maybe it skews more that men like it a little bit more. Not, not really, it didn't, no, this one is definitely an even split, all right? So Intense Cafe smells like coffee and roses. The coffee is of course a little bit more synthetic. It's more of like the coffee with creamer in it, but this scent, performs easily over 10 hours it's not going to leave your skin it's not going to leave your sweater wherever you apply it if you apply it on your hair it will last forever recently my girlfriend actually wore this fragrance and yeah i smelled it on her for like over what 18 hours over a day to be totally honest with you and yeah she showered and stuff like that and it was still lingering so it does not go away but intense cafe was something i remember i wore it and I hugged this girl and she just kept her face in my neck, just deep sniffing me. And she's like, sorry, but you smell so good. Like, what is this? And we had a whole ass conversation just hugging, you know? But on top of that, when I wore this around guys, like when it was projecting, they're like, damn, 
that smells super nice. What is that? It's really sweet. And it's just, it's like, I smell it all up in the air, you know? So this is a head turner. This is something you wear like to the club. If you want something that, you know, everyone else is kind of wearing that Chanel, that Dior, and you want to pop in with a sweet scent that's going to grab everybody's attention then throw on Intense Cafe, all right? Okay, next up, we got Elysium by Raja Parfums. And damn, do I love this fragrance, my life of the party scent. This is what I wear when I want to have a good time and, you know, when I want to kind of boost my mood a little bit or if I'm just feeling myself, this is the scent I throw on and the confidence just radiates. I'm not saying I need this to have confidence, but when you already have the confidence and you throw a sexy-ass fragrance like Elysium on, you become unstoppable, you know what I mean? So Elysium is a juniper berry grapefruit fragrance, but to be totally real with you, it smells a little bit more like pineapple on my skin and a lemon cocktail. Now, Elysium is something that I've gotten more compliments from women on just slightly, but when I have worn this around guys, like I went to lunch with this guy and like gave him a hug, he's like, damn. Because, like, he saw my videos, right? But he hasn't, like, really smelled me yet. Like, it's, it's like, what's it called? This is not early into my fragrance game, but, like, right when I got started into niche fragrances. But it's been a while since I've seen him. So we wanted to grab some lunch together. And he saw what I was doing online, but hasn't really smelled any fragrances on me. So I give him a hug. And he's like, damn, you do smell really fucking good. Like, that's what he told me. And, like, throughout the day... He was like, yo, you got like, what is that fragrance that smells so fire? And then I wore this to Vegas as well. Got a compliment, like a couple compliments from guys there too. But yeah, this has also gotten me a lot of reactions from women as well. In the opening, in the dry down, everything. Within the first 15 minutes of me wearing this, I received a couple compliments from women on this scent. So it's just something that is super mass appealing. If like, and even my girlfriend actually loves wearing this fragrance i will say it might go a little bit more masculine she would completely disagree with me though she finds this to be a much more feminine scent um so it's all based on your like skin chemistry with it but absolute crowd pleaser i know people dog on elysium in the fragrance community they call it basic they're like oh it's not even worth it for all of you that haven't tried this fragrance please test it for yourself because i kid you not I have not met a single person that has hated this fragrance or has thought it was okay. It was all love. They're all love. No hate, no okay, all love. So Elysium, great. In terms of performance, I still smell it on myself and receive compliments past six, seven hours, but there are people that this doesn't last over two to three hours on their skin. I have received comments like that on my YouTube. So what's my solution? Overspray it, all right? It won't fail you there. All right, here we go. A couple more left. Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. It's a tried and true scent. My girlfriend smelled a sample of it because she bought herself a, a Trep Revs by Louis Vuitton and it came with a sample of Afternoon Swim. And she was like, she called me, she's like, if you do not wear the fragrance that I'm about to, that I'm gonna spray on you, I'm gonna buy it for myself, right? So uh, she brought a sample of it and we were in the car, she sprayed it on me and even myself too, myself included, I was like, damn, I love this. I need to get a bottle of it. But her, it just like the le like the level from just, oh, like, let me smell this tea on you to like a gajillion of like, damn, that's a sexy ass fragrance was insane. Like if, if you ask her about her, if you've seen our videos on this fragrance, it is something that gets her worked like no other. And the sex appeal of Afternoon Swim and the simplicity of it is my favorite part about this fragrance because it's nothing unique. It's nothing bold. It's nothing that is, you know, like critically acclaimed, you know, but it's just something that's simple that does the job and more. So if simplicity is what you like, you go with Afternoon Swim. It's more of an orangey fragrance. So... This is unisex, no lie. I have received a bit more compliments from women, but guys have also complimented me on this fragrance. And again, skin chemistry is a huge thing. Louis Vuitton has marketed this as a unisex fragrance, I believe. All right, here we go. I hope this video is still recording. I can't see if it is or not. But Naxos by Sershoff. This is elite 
in cold weather. Let me tell you right now. This is my favorite tobacco fragrance. It's tobacco and honey. And yes, the honey is more dominant with this scent, but it makes it turns the tobacco into something that is just super addictive to my nose at least, right? But when I first tried Naxos on, I got three wow reactions. And then the next day I wore it as well because I wore it in the fall time a year or two ago. I can't remember which what it was. But like two guys and two girls complimented me that day when I threw on Naxos. And till this day, whenever I wear it, it is something that does get attention. You cannot ignore this fragrance. It's not weak. It's something that will stay with you for like the next 10 to 12 hours. Um, and for me, I don't do five sprays of this fragrance. I would just stick to one just because I know the way it performs. Again, it's more of a, a less is more situation, right? But <sighs> Naxos is, it's a unisex scent. <sighs> and it, it's a pretty even split. It's a pretty even split, no lie. I There's a part of me that wants to say that it's a little bit more attractive to the feminine nose. But when I really recount the times that I wore this scent, when guys smelled it on me, they were going wild. They're like, damn, that's a regal fragrance. And it's there's a classiness to it. And it's a refined fragrance, but it smells badass at the same time. So if you want to smell like a smooth badass, then you rock Naxos by Sershoff. And it's the end of the story right there. And the last fragrance, Carlisle by Parfums de Marly, my favorite scent from this brand. I just talked about it on a video I made today about my top five fra favorite, favorite fragrances for November. But Carlisle is just this sensational fragrance that smells like this medicinal green apple kind of in the opening. And then as it dries down, I kind of get just a little bit of incense, a good sexy incense, not church incense, all right? But then it also kind of has this Middle Eastern sort of vibe and smell to it, you know, which is something that here in the West you do not smell at all, really. So a very unique and bold fragrance if you're somebody that lives in the States, um, because I have never smelled this on anybody, or a scent that smelled like this on anybody. It's very, like, designer-dominated in the area that I live in, but... Carlisle is definitely something that you wear if you want to separate yourself from the crowd. And this is for sure more sex, like, I mean, more um, sex appealing to the feminine nose. Absolutely. Like the dry, the, when you first smell this fragrance, you have to let it dry down because you smell it you're like, okay, it smells good. But for me, at least it didn't really hypnotize me. But the dry down, when the dry down hits, it becomes like, an absolute sex beast it's crazy this is something that drives my girlfriend wild when she smelled it and i remember um, i have a video that i had my sister blind smell a bunch of parfums the marley fragrances and she smelled carlisle with the initial spray she ranked it i think three out of it was in third place right but then at the end of the video i had her smell all the fragrances again after they dried down and she was like what did i put this in I said like third place and she's like, no, this is number one. And she just started gushing about it. So it is something that just has like women going feral when they smell it. So I love Carlisle a lot, a lot, a lot. But there it is. These have been my most complimented fragrance. It's just an updated video for you all. And in the description box below is the discount link for all these scents. So go check that out in case you want to get your hands on any of these or the samples. But I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.